Welcome to Really Old Movies, I'm your host Harrison Skolan. Today I'll be reviewing a classic Christmas movie from Rankin Bass, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, so now we'll get into my review on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and starting off with the plot, I gave a 4 out of 5. Um, I thought the story was really cute and really heartwarming. It definitely is a, a feel-good Christmas story. But I also like the deeper meaning of it, of not judging a book by its cover. And that, um, you know, at the end of the day, we all have something to offer. And we all have different and unique talents. I really like that aspect. And it makes it a very endearing, a very, um, a very relatable story. All right, then acting-wise, I gave a 5 out of 5. The kid actors and the adult actors alike did a really good job in this. I was very impressed with that. Um, I know a good portion of the kids, like Rudolph and a couple others, they're voiced by adults, but still, I was very impressed with the work that they were able to do with that and uh, how genuinely scared they sound, how genuinely happy they were. Really impressed with that. All right. Now, directing-wise, I gave it 2 out of 5. This, to me, is the weakest aspect of it. And knowing that the movie was made in Japan, right, it felt like the voices never matched up the mouths. Now, maybe they weren't trying to do that. Maybe they were just moving them up and down. But to me, it was pretty poor. And I kind of wish they did match up a lot better because it was very distracting, at least for me. And knowing that... It was made in Japan. Maybe they thought it was going to be in Japanese. I really don't know, but I wish they did a better job of matching it up with the English. It just does, does not work. And I also wonder why it wasn't just made here. I mean, most of the like, actors and all of that, they were all in Canada, but the animation was done in Japan. But I guess that's kind of what we do nowadays. A lot of animated shows aren't even made here anymore. To me, I, I wish it was, I wish the audio dubbing was done better. I guess it adds some charm to it, though. But, eh, give it a 2 out of 5. Alright, now cinematography and special effects. I gave a 5 out of 5. Yes, the mouth worked and it never matched up with the audio. But man, was that stop motion animation really, really good. Uh... It definitely is game-changing you know you could definitely tell that the abominable snowman a lot of his animation was based on King Kong from 1933 and uh, I really liked the work they did here I was very impressed with it and very impressed with all of the designs too I really love the backgrounds I really loved the set the sets that they made and the character designs and it was really well put together, and I was very impressed with it. All right, music-wise, so I gave it a three and a half out of five. Some of the songs that were written for the movie were very strange. There's like a song about misfits and a song that the elves sang for Santa. I did not like, but the ones that you normally hear, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, Have a Holly Jolly Christmas, you know, Popular ones we already hear, sung by Burl Ives, I thought were really, really good. And were really strong parts of the movie. And I gotta add too, I really liked Burl Ives in this. He was a really good narrator. I love his voice, and I love his singing voice too. He's a really talented guy. You could see why they picked him. And, uh, and another thing I want to add that has nothing really to do with the movie, but I loved how the movie Elf based a lot of their character designs and their uh, stop motion off of this movie. I thought that was pretty funny. Nice uh, nod back to it. So overall, the final letter letterbox score uh, tallies up to a 3.9 out of 5, which I'm rounding to a 4 out of 5. Um, again, I like this movie. I grew up watching it every Christmas. Pretty good movie. I like it a lot. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it. It's definitely geared more towards a younger audience, so keep that in mind when you watch it. Don't take it too seriously. 
it's definitely for children and for families, but I really like that, so I won't I won't use that against it. All right. Well, those are my thoughts and feelings on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And make sure to subscribe to our Instagram and Facebook page to get behind-the-scenes information about the week's particular film. And you'll find that at Really Old Movies. And new episodes of this podcast are released Fridays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and pretty much anywhere you can listen to a podcast. All right, well... Thank you all so much for listening to today's episode. I'm your host, Harrison Skullin. Take care.